We each face a fundamental choice if we want to be the most impactful public innovators we can be. It has to do with the direction that we face. We need to turn outward toward our communities. Turning outward is an orientation, a posture, a stance, a mindset. Turning outward is when we make our community the reference point for everything we do, not our conference room. After all, it's only when we're turned outward that we can see and hear other people. Only when we're turned outward can we have reality in our line of sight. It's only when we're turned outward that we can know our shared aspirations for what we want to achieve together. Now here's the problem. I've been doing this work for over 25 years now, and what I keep finding is that so many of us so often are actually turned inward, away from one another. We do this at times without even knowing it, without realizing it. We say we want to hear people's hopes and concerns, but we push them aside, sometimes simply giving lip service to them. Our own desire to position our organization or ourselves takes priority. We create long laundry lists of activities, as if that's a good measure of whether or not we're creating impact. When we're turned inward, it's too easy to lose our sense of purpose. The more pressure we're under to be relevant and significant in the life of the community to create impact, the more inward I find people turn. We believe if we just do one more strategic plan, even though we're looking inward, we think we'll be more impactful and relevant. We believe if we just reorganize our staff or organization again and move the seats and org chart around, that somehow that will make our work in the community more impactful and relevant. Heck, we even believe if we create a new logo and pick the right color, that somehow magically that will make us more effective. But here's what I know. It might make you and your organization more attractive, but it won't make you a bit more effective. So our first order of business is to turn outward, to make our community our reference point, not our conference room. When we're turned outward, we can see and hear people, not just what they say, but what they mean. When we're turned outward, we can understand the underlying conditions that exist in our community and what we need to do to create the right foundation for moving forward. And when you're turned outward, you can figure out the right path to take so your strategies and solutions work and create real impact in the lives of people. I do this work because I want to win. I want to create a real difference in the lives of people and in their communities. I know you do too. That's why it's so important to turn outward. When we turn outward, we set ourselves on the path of deeply understanding our communities. When we turn outward, we can unleash people's potential to come together and get things done. When we turn outward, we can develop our collective confidence that we can actually create change together. There's one last thing. Turning outward requires that we make intentional choices, and when we do, it can put us on the path of possibility and hope. Only you can make the choice to turn outward.